Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying okay, okay. So what I'm doing over here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, twisty, twisty time. Yeah. We're gonna take the wires now. The heat shrink. Before you start to solder, make sure, or else, because if not, you're gonna have to do the whole thing over again. Make sure you put your heat shrink on the wire before you start to solder, because once you've soldered, I just realized I have a cut in the wire. I'm not cutting it off. I'm not going to heat shrink it either. I'm going to put some uh, electrical tape around that. Prevent a short. So make sure you put this heat shrink on before you start. Because after you've done it soldered, and then you realize, oh, I forgot to put it on. Guess what? You're cutting and stripping and re-soldering again. All that extra work that's not necessary. Alright, here we go. So if you don't see this on video, my apologies. What I'm doing right now is I am twisting the orange black wire from there. And by the way, if you want to know, I'm, I'm putting on a, a 12 volts cigarette lighter socket connector for the car. I'll do a switch for this beacon. That could be another project, another video. Uh, I used to know how to do it, but uh, a friend of mine showed me once over the phone many years ago. So there we go. Wires, you can see, is twisted. Now comes the fun part, which I really have to put my phone down for because it's hard to do it any other way. I don't have an assistant today. Um, okay. So here's our solder. Just to demonstrate, what you should do is you heat, you heat the soldering joint up with this. All right? Then when you put your solder on, the liquid solder, it automatically gets even hotter. And you, and you just keep applying heat and just like a sponge, the solder and the, f and, the, and the flux will absorb into the strands of wire, creating a good bond. All right. Now keep in mind, because you're soldering here and you hold the wire down over here, that side of the wire is going to get hot because heat flows, especially through metal and copper. Okay? So... I'm going to put the phone down for a second, somehow, and do this, and get back to you. Let's see if I can put it upside down. Hang on. That's it. How's that? Alright, it's upside down. Oh boy, you get the gist of it anyway. Okay. Is it going to focus for me? might like now okay unfortunately this is about the best I can get it so bear with me for a second the wire stays where it is and it's, somehow it's come on okay, because I've got too much weight on it so I gotta take, give it some slack and let it rest here that's good so now we got the, we gotta make sure we got the uh, heat shrink on there. Alright, let's do this. Uh, I don't know why. I don't want to do that. And move the camera. Okay, nice. We got it. Alright, let's solder this. Okay. Now keep in mind, you can see my tip is bad. I'm gonna need a new tip soon. Don't let your tips get like this, people. Okay, here we go. So we got a little bit of solder on there right now, and it's heating up the joint. And then we're gonna put some more down. And the red or the copper wire with the silver wire that's wrapped will now become one with the piece. All right, solder cools very quickly. All right. So, but. It may be cool enough to be solid, but don't touch. It is hot. As well, like I said, this wire up in the tip here, the red spot. Oh, yeah, I felt that. It's going to be hot, too. All right. If you do not wait for your piece to become hot before you solder, you'll do what's called a cold solder. And it won't, it won't be a good solder joint, and it will come off. It'll and it'd be just a big mess. 
and this is good too with this camera because I can actually look at my camera on my phone and get close up shots of spots that I've missed alright now sometimes the side doesn't flow as freely as you would like alright so you have to deploy another method and you may drop some solder on the floor don't worry about it Unless you got a wooden floor, then I would worry about it. I got ceramic floor here. That's where you see all this stuff here. So now I'm gonna be careful not to touch the wires from the connection. I think I dropped it, but that's okay because I don't want to touch it. And I'm gonna oof, that's stinky stuff. I'm gonna look at my joint. Alright. Now you can see it's gone through a little bit, uh, but I can use a little bit of a touch-up. Okay? So again, I'm going to put the wire in. Just bear with me for a second because I'm holding a hot piece of solder iron here. Drop it inside my computer. I'm using a Delft. Ow, you son of a bitch! Huh? A piece of molten solder just fell on my hand, people. Alright, and there it is on my pants. Oh. I've had molten solder melt before in my hands. Not fun. Not at all. Okay, so, so now what I'm going to do, you're going to see that you can't see this off camera, you saw the, the gist of it, so what I'm going to do now is try to get this solder wire to cooperate with me, and put it back in here, I have a, again my Dell computer before I solder spilled on me, now there's a blooper for the, there's a blooper for the tape, uh, for the tape, sir, okay, now, you can't see this off the shot here, but I'm going to describe it as I go. I'm heating up the joint again. And I am going to just dump a shitload of solder onto this piece. Oh, that looks great. That looks great. Now, when you're soldering, sometimes when you're done and you pull the, tip, you pull the solder off the joint, you're going to leave like little sharp edges on it. Make sure you get it all nice and cleaned and smoothed out because you won't be able to put on or slide on a heat shrink sometimes. Alright, there we go. So that's done. Alright. Alright, just a little smack like that, a quick smack just to get off any extra solder bits. Okay. That's good. So now, I'm not going to touch that, but that's that's what you're left with. That's a beautiful joint. Okay. So now, what we're going to do, turn it back. Don't fall. Okay. So now, I'm going to take this out. All right. There's our nice little solid piece. I'm going to take the heat shrink, and it still feels warm. And we're gonna um, fuck ourselves. All right. So I'm being careful not to touch the joint. Sometimes you know it feels like it's hot, but meanwhile it's just there's a little piece of solder on here. It's sharp. I'm gonna you kind of see a little sharp piece on the tip there. And I'm gonna shorten this off. I'm gonna smooth it off. Just run the solder over it. That's it. Just round it off a little bit. No? That's it. Alright, that's it. Just like that. Good. Solder smooth cools quickly, but solder does not like to be moved around and flexed. So if we take this and start flexing it back and forth, the wire will eventually break. Alright. And it's being a little bit of a Bastard. I just realized I think I screwed myself on this one. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I was supposed to go the other way, and I didn't. Uh, okay. And because I did that, it won't go. It won't go around. Alright. See what I'm saying, folks? Alright. No problem. We 
can always use electrical tape. I've already gotten this piece on here. Damn it. Okay. The solder joint is perfect, but we cannot get the uh, heat shrink on. We have to bend the wire. Bending the wire, you still can't get the thing on because it's too thick. This soldered wire should have been this way. But when I was trying to solder it, it flexed back. I wasn't paying attention. Don't do that. So guess what I gotta do now? Snip, snip, strip, strip, and start again. There we go. Okay. So snip, snip, and strip, strip. And we're gonna make the. We're gonna. Now it's all a guessing game, really. Um, in this case, I'm a 12 gauge. You can also check on that wire, like I told you. I'm gonna just go in this 12 gauge section, squeeze down. You got a pull, and like magic, you got a strip wire. Okay, again, this one's a little more bigger, but we're still going to use a 12. Give it about an inch down, and then pull, and there we go. I say strip. Okay, now we're going to try and see if we can connect these just like this. Okay, so unfortunately, I'm going to put this in here. You guys are probably going to be missing me for a second, but I'm going to keep talking through this. Don't go all the way yet. There we go. All right. Now. Okay. What you should do. Oh, I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do something called tinning. Tinning the wire is just basically applying solder to the wire. That's all it is. That way you have something to play with and use while it's there. While you're trying to connect. Instead of getting it from the, the spool of solder, you're just going to use whatever's on the wire. Because you're going to put extra. There we go. Alright, see now as you apply the solder. Alright. I'm going to move the soldering iron down. Be careful not to burn my phone. Okay, so what you're doing is as you're moving it along, you're dragging a bead or a little ball of solder down the line. Alright, and you're essentially painting the whole thing. Oh, that is beautiful. Left the ball on there for me to use. Oh, I love it. That's a great one. Okay, let me see if I can show that to you quick. Oh no, that's soft. Okay, alright, it's off, it's off. Alright, let's show you. Look at that. It may look like crap because there's a chunk link at the end, but that's the chunk you want to use to play with to add later on. Alright, so we'll drop that. And we're not going to twist the strands together yet. Alright, we're going right. to push that in the hole there. A little bit. Heat up your piece. Alright. Okay. So out of this one, it's a little bit more thicker, so it will require a little bit more patience on your part because it's going to take more time to get hot. Alright, but as you, as you do it, slowly run the solder down the piece. Alright. Alright. And after a while, the piece heats up. You can, so you can put the soldering iron on the bottom and still solder from the top. Alright. I mean, I got me one of these little, you saw in the, in the beginning of the video, these little cheap ones here from Lowe's. But you can get one of them uh, professional ones. It has a base, it plugs in, it sits in a little coiled housing. I forgot the name of that brand. See, I'm on the bottom now, and now the solder is heated up to the point where I can manipulate the solder from the top. 
All right, and still solder from the from the bottom, vice versa. All right, so put a little bit of beaten solder on the bottom there to play with. Awesome. This is actually working out better. Okay. So now we're gonna get our piece out. Peace out, yo. Not yet. Okay. Dust on there. Okay. It's gonna heat up. It shouldn't take long to heat up because it was previously heated. Alright. This part can be a bit of a pain in the ass. There we go. Join the two together, whereas the solder and molten solder melts and becomes one. Okay. This is a um, can be a little bit of a somewhat delicate process. Oh, that's great. That is just solid. Hold it steadily, and then blow to help cool and set the solder in place. Okay, and then we'll have a look at this. Okay, so there's the bottom piece. See, and it's kind of melted in the tip. It, this does actually feel hot to the touch. Look on the bottom. That could use some more. That's not good. So I'm going to put some more on there. All right. Put it back in the slot. Okay. what we're going to do in that little empty spot that you saw in the back we are going to put some on there stupid thing fell out of its holder You bitch! There's too much uh, hanging off of this. Why? Right. Can you hold there? You think? Or are you gonna be a dick? Good boy, stay there. All right. Now I'll continue on. All right. And because I have it on this little downward spiral, the solder's gonna run down. You're gonna, be, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be good, but you're gonna be fast with this because your other joint could heat up and fall off. All right, and then we'll just bang it off. Just banging. That's done. Now here's a trick. With the soldering iron, and with the solder still warm, the wire still warm, try to flip, try to put this heat shrink right over top of it to get the start. The melting process. Okay. That's it. And that's that. Oh, back it up a little, son. There we go. So that's done. And the heat shrink is starting to shrink already. This, like, this has a bit of a glue that comes out when you try to shrink it. Alright. So that is done. I'm going to start to squeeze this a little bit to get some of that glue to come up onto the piece. And that's it. We're done. Now, same procedure. Tin it up. Put the wire inside the holder. Alright. And then aim the wire down a little bit. So I start to use some of that solder, the gravity, to help pull the solder down. And if I can focus that camera, I'm sorry. Okay, there's the molten solder on the floor. There's the piece we're trying to solder right there. Okay, now, next piece. Alright. Alright. 
So while I'm doing this here, just ask you guys here at home. If you guys ever soldered before, what have you soldered? A hard project, easy project, if you have done any. Leave uh, your responses in the comments below. Uh, anything else you guys want to see me do, also leave a comment in the uh, section below. Alright. That's one. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I was just starting that. I was just hitting that up, and I just realized I don't have a piece on there. Or do I? A piece of heat shrink. Mm-hmm. Do you see that? Do you see that, folks? Son of a bitch. I don't think I even... Oh, wait a minute. Ah, that's going to be a bit small. But I thought I had a piece. Use it all up and then you speak. <laughs> Alright. See if we can make this a little bit shorter. Damn it. Alright. See by the time I put it, it's too long. Alright. We're gonna make it a little bit shorter. Very simple. Just cut off a little bit more of the wire. Shh, it comes off like a hair. Alright. And remember it's gonna go onto here, so ah, that looks great. Ah! Sorry, I just fell. <laughs> I'm okay. It's all good. So now I'm gonna take the wire. I'm gonna put it inside my little holder spot here. Piss off, go down. I don't need you right now. Something smells funky. Something doesn't smell like solder burning. <laughs> but I think I'm okay. All right. You're just being an asshole, aren't you? So, I'm going to be a minute here, this thing's just being a dick. Okay. I have to do it the old fashioned way there. Stick it through the hole. Instead of running it through, it's supposed to design to hold it. If I have to do that and pull it afterwards, that's fine. All right, let's get to it now. And now, hmm, oh, the solder chip smells funny. It doesn't smell bad, but then, you know, it's like plastic or solder, it just smells like, I don't know. It was burning something that didn't smell, that shouldn't have been burning. down the side here, and then I'm going to go like this, and put another bead, mother, and then I'm going to go on the back side of it now, alright, the back side can take, okay, okay, we're down there, Bit. That's my holder. Oof, oof. <laughs> Stuff's beginning to smell funky, I guess, when it sits on the soldering iron for a while. Alright, the wire's still hot. So the solder should be nice and easy. Oh, yeah, that's just sexy. Look at that. That's just beautiful. Alright. I usually use butt connectors or butt crimps. Just put them together and just crimped them down, I'm all out. And I figured what the hell, this is a probably a better way. Alright. Beautiful. Okay. So what we're going to do now, okay. We've got that kind of soldered. It's okay. I'm going to heat up this joint. So this is the one I'm talking about, the joint. Try to focus the camera quickly here. Beautiful. So I'm gonna heat up the solder on here. Spread it out a little bit, just like so. That looks great. All right. And then pre 
heat this one again. Okay, heat up both at the same time. In the porn industry, it's called double fisting. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, it's getting a little hot there. All right. Yeah, the wire itself was getting hot because the heat's transferring itself through. All right. So again, this can be the part that's a bit of a pain in the ass. And now the strand's starting to separate, and that's not going to be good for the heat shrinker. All right. Now, obviously, that's not going to do. You stupid fuck. Uh, see, again, folks, I'm tired too. Um, I forgot to put the heat shrink on. No worries. We didn't complete the job. Oh, you ass, I just found it. Okay. I hate to use the whole thing, we don't need to, but by the time I'm done with it, alright, fuck it. Okay, okay, we're okay. Let's continue on. And we're gonna saw this join up. Wow, 30 minutes in this video so far. I apologize if it ended up being longer than what it was supposed to. I had some uh, technical difficulties. Just get kind of tacked together. Man, this is hard. <laughs> this part's hard. This shouldn't take this long to do, but it is. Okay. Now, I'm going to tack it with some solder now. Move it. Okay. Just move it down a little bit. There we go. That's a good test it's right there. Hmm. All that weight it's, it's taken off from me. Okay. Okay. Just dump some solder on that. Alright. More the merrier. That's it. Now, you see, that heat shrink is not going to go around this strand. There's a strand here sticking out a little bit farther than what it should be. So that's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we got to now play with it. Now, see, this is my little holder here because I don't want to put this damn thing up. We're just burning anything. Okay, so now what we're going to do, I'm going to cut off this little strand of wire. Not a strand, but a little bit of it. I'll try to... Okay, you're being an ass. All right. Straighten out. I'm gonna try and cut off this little bit of this little bit of. Uh, I'm gonna show you on the camera here. This little piece of this end piece. You see what I'm saying? It's on the right hand side. You've, it's gotten kind of it's a straggler. work. Got some side cutters here. I'll fix this nasty ass up. Alright. Even, even that shit out. Oh, damn. There we go. Well, trimming off the... We'll call it trimming of defect. Okay. Right, so now... This has been a, this is turning into a career. This, this is, people, this is not normally how it works. I'm just having some issues here. Okay, this is normally not, normally not normally how it should work. I'm turning this into a career for shit's sake, and it's not really like this. But we're almost done. Okay. So now we should apply a little bit more solder on the back of it.
Alright, and then we're going to test this after. Okay. Again, no strand sticking out. Nobody got no time for that. Alright. Jesus. Wow. Okay, the back piece is a little bit now. Wow, that looks disgusting, but we're almost done. I'm just going to put some more solder on this piece back here just to give it some more stuff to adhere to right inside the hole there. That's it. That's it. That looks just sexy. Oof. All right. Again, I see some stragglers. The sharp pieces, you always got to make sure you try to smooth those off. All right, so the heat shrink won't do what it's supposed to. God, that's disgusting. Alright. Okay. Okay. That's it. Ow! Yep, there you go, idiot. Okay. Let's see how she goes over top of the piece. Get down, get down, can't grip it, now it's stuck, oh sh shit, well, well, I got partially heat shrinked, I tried to catch it before it officially heat shrinked itself on there, but yeah, she's done, I can't get heat shrink on that now, wow, it's okay, Worked out good. It was just okay. It was just only the ground, nonetheless. This is what happened. The heat shrink got on there before I could even do anything. And then again, the straggler was right here, is where it got caught up on this little piece right here. Um, as I was putting the heat shrink on, that piece decided, "Fuck you, bitch! I'm gonna screw you." All right. So anyway. For the most part, it's done. We're going to put electrical tip on that one. And we're going to heat shrink that one. So what we're going to do now, there's no light in that beacon. None. Burned. So what we're going to do is you can see a little curved thing in there. That's reflective. I got a, I got hooked up to this nice little uh, rig I got here. This is a car, a car battery booster pack, but it stopped holding the charge. I wired up a couple of cigarette lighter sockets to it. So I'll put that inside there. Okay, that's good. That's how you know it works. It's spinning. Job well done. Now, here's what else you do. I also, to charge this battery, I got 12 volts, because this is used to 12 volts. So I got a whole computer power supply. Took the positive, 12, negative, hooked it up to, uh, these out these little clamps that from my old past the airport <laughs> just use those with some screws under there right under there then I take a little computer plug plug that in like so and then turn the power on and look at that now it's spinning fast because I'm giving it some I'm giving it the juice the juice is loose. And the test for sometimes, if I didn't have that, I'd use this old lamp. This is a, it's a tractor trailer brake light, LEDs. I use it as a dome switch. A dome light in my car, because my old Corolla was bad. So just to make sure we got power. If I didn't have that rotating light, I would take this one, put it here. And this one, put it here, and wha-bam. Got it. But I know we got power. As soon as I shut that off, if the battery hasn't been charged long enough, that, that rotating beacon will start to slow down. And that's how you do it. Now we just got to put electrical tape on that little piece and we're done. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and definitely leave a comment below. 
you guys got any questions, any how-tos you'd like to see done, just uh, send me a send me a comment there. Leave a comment in the script. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see what I can do for you. Any questions as well? I appreciate the bottom. Ciao for now.